Introducing Satellites by Triton. Satellites mixer showers are stylish and modern, easy to use and easy to clean. They offer a powerful flow of water and provide a consistent water temperature at all times due to their exceptional thermostatic control. All this together with the latest in remote control technology, which means you can control your shower just like you control your TV. Unlike a conventional mixer shower, where the mixer is located on or behind the wall and connected directly to the shower controls. The satellite's mixers allow the mixing unit and the remote control to be located independently of each other and up to 10 meters apart. There are just three easy steps to your perfect satellite shower. First, select your remote control. Second, choose your shower kit. And finally, Select the appropriate mixer unit for your household water system. A satellite shower is easier and quicker to install than most other showers. With a traditional built-in mixer shower, the mixer and pipes have to be concealed in the wall before tiling. A satellite shower can be installed into a pre-tiled showering area and as the remote control and shower unit are simply fitted to the tiles, there is minimal disruption. It takes just a fraction of the time to install. Let's take a look at the installation in more detail. We'll begin with the riser rail. There are two options. One can be connected to the mixer unit in the airing cupboard through a bulkhead fitting. The other can be connected to a mixer unit in the loft. We will demonstrate the riser rail kit with the mixer unit in the loft. Offer up the riser rail with the brackets in place. Mark, position and fasten the top bracket. Mark out the entry point in the ceiling and drill the hole. Measure the riser rail to the required length depending on ceiling height and depth of joists in the loft. The rail can be up to 1.6 meters in length. Cut the rail to length using suitable pipe cutters. Slip on the shroud and slot the rail into the top bracket. Offer up the other rail and bottom fixing bracket. Measure align and mark the position of the bottom bracket. Remember to slide the handset holder and hose retainer onto the rail before fixing the bottom bracket to the wall. Two meters of flexible water pipe is supplied to take the mixed hot water from the mixer unit in the loft down through the riser rail to the shower outlet fitting in the bottom bracket. Fit the shower hose connector to the pipe. Lock the shower hose connector into place using the retaining clip. And fit the bracket trims to complete the riser rail installation. We will now fit the mixer unit. Two types are available one for high pressure and one for low pressure water systems. From the outside they look exactly the same. They can be conveniently installed in an airing cupboard for a bulkhead fitting or in the loft above the showering area as a through the ceiling riser rail as in the following installation. Before connecting to the mixer fit the push fit flexible connectors onto the copper inlet and outlet pipes. Using the isolating valves Flush out the hot and cold inlet pipes. The unit is designed with air vents so that air can circulate through the unit to prevent overheating. So please don't cover it with lagging, but take appropriate measures to protect the mixer unit from freezing in winter. Secure the mixer unit in the chosen location and simply screw the flexible connectors onto the unit. It essentially works in the same way as a conventional mixer in that water is mixed together and then fed to the shower head in the bathroom. 
Now connect the outlet supply pipe to the pipe in the riser rail using a suitable fitting. Wire the mixer unit cable into a 3 amp fused spur box. To complete the mixer unit installation, lag all pipework to prevent freezing. Now for the remote control. There are two types available, a modern design and a classic design, both of which are fitted in the same way. Before fitting the panel to the wall, there is a choice of settings to suit your requirements. The first is a timer setting. The shower can be set so that it switches off after 10 minutes. The second sets the maximum temperature, which the unit will not exceed. This can either be 43 or 47 degrees centigrade. The third allows you to reduce water consumption by selecting the economy flow setting. Fit the two supplied AAA batteries. Please note that you can't reach the settings with the batteries in place. Now select the preferred location. There are no design restrictions so the remote control can be positioned anywhere in the showering area to design your bathroom exactly how you want it. Having selected your preferred location, screw the mounting bracket onto the wall and simply clip on the remote. With the remote control away from the water path, it avoids watermarks and the need for frequent cleaning. Power up the mixer box and then register the remote control to it. The shower is now ready to use. The satellite shower range offers extensive design options. You can pick any shower kit with any remote control. An alternative to the riser rail kit is the ceiling mounted fixed head for that drenched shower experience. <laughs>